Here we go, let's move, let's move, let's move. Come on, let's go. A new chapter in Raiders history began in 2022 with head coach Josh McDaniel's first training camp. Do it right every time, you know what I mean? There you go. That's the challenge. All right, all right. There you go. There you go. There you go. Make sure we know what the situation is. Think through it. I want to make sure that we understand our expectations too, right? The expectation is that we come out here and we do it right every time, and there's no shortcut to doing it, right? These are the best things we could possibly do. Of all the things we do, nothing's more important than practice, okay? Meetings, treatment, all, this is the best thing we can do to help our football team get where we want to go. Three straight one-score losses marked a tough start, but McDaniel's team and Raider Nation never lost their fire. This to Jacobs. First through the 10. Cuts up field five. Drives forward. He's in. Touchdown, Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Raiders. Hey, I got you. I got you. Hey. Max Crosby was as good as his word, picking up a pair of sacks. Amik Robertson picked up the Raiders' first defensive touchdown in three years. To Gordon across the 40, down to the 35, and the ball is out! And Robertson has it in his stomach, and he's racing downfield for the Raiders. 50, 45, 40, Robertson near sideline. 20, 10, defensive touchdown! Josh Jacobs ran for 144 yards and two touchdowns. And the Raiders are going to win for the first time this season. It was a long time coming. It's only one win, but listen to this crowd. Rushing touchdown, that's how you establish tough. Yes, sir. Rushing touchdown. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Josh Jacobs was a true powerhouse in 2022. He became the first Raider since Marcus Allen in 1985 to lead the NFL in rushing yards with 1,653. The Raiders' All-Pro also led the league with 2,053 yards from scrimmage, proving he was just as dangerous in the passing game as he was carrying the ball. Josh Jacobs can do it all! Okay, Josh! Let's go! Yes, sir. Let's go with it, baby. Nothing, How you doing? Love you too. Good luck today. Let's get it. Right. Let's get it. Start fast and start strong, bro. We're going to win this game. It's, it's no reason why we shouldn't go out there and dominate these boys, bro. Put that on tape, bro. Believe in yourself, bro. Believe in each other. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it, bro. It's time, bro. It's time, bro. Let's go. Against the Texans, Jacobs dominated. <laughs> Las Vegas tied the game before halftime, then took the lead for good in the fourth quarter. Can they punch it in in the red zone? 
Mitch Jacobs racing left. Breaks the tackle. Leads the ball forward. Touchdown Raiders. It's off. It's off. Josh Jacobs would be denied again. Hey, now let's go do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's go do it again. With the handoff into the belly of Jacobs. Bounces off a defender. Yep. Let's go too late. Hey, now let's go do it again. Now let's go do it again. His tank is never empty. Come on. Let's go. Sit down, bro. I got that itch. I got that itch. I do owe y'all dinner. Whenever y'all ready, y'all make me look good, bro, for real. Three straight setbacks had Josh McDaniel's team searching for answers. They once again found one against the Broncos. This time, he wore number 17. He's got plenty of time. Lost near corner. For Devontae. Hands in the air. Grabs it. Touchdown, Raiders. Daniel Carlson hit three field goals, including the game-tying score with 16 seconds remaining. On the third play of overtime, Devontae Adams again showed why the Raiders acquired him. Play action again, looking downfield, walks in near corner, Adams wide open at the five, he walks in, and the Raiders walk off with a win! Touchdown, Devontae Adams, to win it here in Denver! Oh, good job, huh? The Raiders believed that by getting Devontae Adams in the offseason, they'd be adding the best wide receiver in the game. During the 2022 season, they were proven correct. In his first year wearing the silver and black, Adams caught 100 passes and scored 14 touchdowns. That's impressive how number 17 is able to come up with football with one hand. Unbelievable grab by Devontae! Are you kidding me? He also made history. That is the catch that passes Devontae Adams beyond Tim Brown for the most receiving yards in franchise history in a single season. Adams gave the Raiders a receiver capable of scoring any time from anywhere. Much like one of the greatest to ever wear the silver and black, Clifford Branch. In 2022, Branch finally got his due, getting inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Cliff Branch was a world-class sprinter. His fleet feet made him a critical part of the Raiders' vertical passing game of the 1970s. Branch was a three-time Super Bowl champion, holding playoff records for receptions and receiving yards when he retired. Entering the Hall of Fame with Branch in 2022 was former captain Richard Seymour. a huge Raider fan, so spending my last four years learning under the late, great Al Davis was an unexpected gift. He believed that football was a game of values. 
And Mark Davis continues to serve as a beacon today as the mantra goes, once a Raider. Thank you. Thank you. Despite a tough first chapter, the story of Las Vegas' 2022 season wasn't nearly complete. In Seattle, the Raiders took a 14-13 lead in the second quarter. Wide open, Hans at the 25, all kinds of green, 15, 10, he's going to walk in. An absolute beauty. As he had been all season, Josh Jacobs was nearly unstoppable. fell behind before tying the game at 34 at the end of regulation. The Seahawks had home field advantage with the crowd on their side. The Raiders, they had Josh Jacobs. Jacobs finishes today 33 carries for a career-high 229 yards, two touchdowns. He also had six grabs for 74 yards, 303 yards wow. from scrimmage. Wow. Las Vegas is a city of spectacle. And when the Chargers came to town the following week, it was showtime for the Raiders. Josh Jacobs gets it again. Pitches it back to Derek Carr. Walking downfield for Devontae Adams. It's right at the bar. Touchdown Raiders. The buzz in here. There's a feeling right now about the squad. Chandler Jones and the defense got into the act. complimentary football game. Just keep plugging away, fellas. I, I can see the belief that you have in one another, and you can see it on the football field. Max Crosby is the heart of the silver and black defense. All right, let's go. Come on. Ready? His gruff exterior belies the fact that he's really warm and fuzzy. I'm just giving a hug. Thanks, bro. Well, mostly. Especially Chandler Jones, were excited to welcome the Patriots to town. Oh, be great today, dude. Let's be great. Ain't nobody 
Robert Tumbo at the WBU. They got the block. Coach up the middle of the block. It's scooped up by the Patriots. And the Raiders make a tackle back in the New England 21 yard line. Malcolm Coots came off the left edge and got off the foot. Yeah, Mal. Yeah, Mal. Yeah, Mal. Las Vegas took a 17 3 lead into halftime but with under a minute left, trailed by seven. We got the ball. 37 seconds to go on the ball on the Patriots 30. The Raiders kept their poise and their resolve never wavered. It's caught by Cole! Touchdown Raiders! Back Pollard! Keelan Cole with the catch of his life! We are tied at 24. There are three seconds left and a chance now for Mac Jones to throw a Hail Mary. Draw to Ramondre Stevenson, breaks out of a tackle at the 50, has the 45, breaks away from another tackle, pitches it backwards, and now Jacoby Myers spinning around, he throws it to Tampa Jones in midfield. Racing towards the end zone. Oh my goodness. It's a miracle on Las Vegas. Tim Rhodes picks off the lateral. And the Raiders win 30 to 24. In the epic words of Bill King. Holy Toledo. In 2022, the Raiders began a new chapter, one that made NFL history. We've been searching for someone who could lead us into the future. I'm proud to introduce to you today the president of the Las Vegas Raiders, Sandra Douglas Morgan. Las Vegas native Sandra Douglas Morgan became the first female African-American team president in NFL history. This organization has faced some recent challenges. But I want to be clear. The fact is I accepted this role because I believe in the promise of the Raiders. I believe in the future of the Raiders. And I believe in this organization's tenets of integrity, community, and most of all, commitment to excellence. It is an honor of a lifetime to serve as the president of this organization. I believe in the Davis family's legacy of celebrating and promoting diversity in every sense of that word. I believe in this community that we now call home that has embraced this team with open arms. The Raiders have a long legacy of greatness and of bold moves because of visionaries like Mark and his father, Al. I look forward to fulfilling the promise of two legacies and one future for Raider Nation and Las Vegas and look forward to ushering in the new chapter for the Raiders. Well, we got to do a lot of things right, and that's the burden that we keep talking about. Like, we can't let nine of them do it. It has to be 11. It has to be 11. The first season under Josh McDaniels ended with a 6-11 record, but a new chapter under center will begin in 2023. McDaniels went to his roots to find the Raiders' next quarterback. McDaniels and Jimmy Garoppolo have a shared championship history, having spent three years together in New England. With San Francisco, Garoppolo proved his leadership and ability, helping the 49ers to three NFC Championship appearances in the last four seasons, including an NFC title in 2019. Raider Nation, what's going on, guys? Glad to be here. Just made it official. Can't wait to get to work, man. The silver and black look to the draft to bolster their defense. With the seventh pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Tyree Wilson, defensive end, Texas Tech. With his six foot six, 271 pound frame and monstrous wingspan, Tyree Wilson will be hard to handle. Now that the former Red Raider is a Las Vegas Raider, he will pair with Max Crosby and Chandler Jones to form a fearsome pass rush. 
mean? Kind of crazy that this, this is going to be my home. Raider Nation has a great fan base, and I'm excited to play for them. I'm just blessed that, you know, they chose me and feel like we're the right fit, and I'm excited to take my game to another level. What's up? Got a guess for you, Coach. Congrats, man. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh-oh. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. How you doing? You good? Yeah. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. Congrats. Appreciate it. Carol. Are you good? The greatness of the Raiders is in its future, and exciting times are coming to Las Vegas. It's a big day for the Raiders. It's a big day for the city of Las Vegas. I think it's a marriage made in heaven, I'll say. Some others may use a different word, but uh, we are just really, really excited. Las Vegas, the Super Bowl is coming. Las Vegas, the sports and entertainment capital of the world, will welcome the Super Bowl in 2024. In the meantime, the Raiders will add a new chapter to their storied history in 2023. The goal is clear. The chase for a championship and the pursuit of excellence remain the Raiders' primary objectives. Adversity is part of our journey and part of our story, and a lot of times those are the moments and those are the years and those are the games that propel you into improving, and then you have an opportunity to go farther and do more. Every year you're trying to win, every game you're trying to win. You win in this league when you earn it, and that's through performance and work, and so we all can do something better. We know what we want to do and what we want to accomplish, and that's what we're going to be hard at work to do.